The South is a wonderful place, but it is definitely a lot different from Logan, Utah. So uh, for me, as, as we left the MTC, we flew to Georgia and then we flew from there to Little Rock, Arkansas. And uh, I'd never been anywhere humid before. I'd never really been around anything so green. And I remember as our plane was landing, I got really excited I just saw how green everything was. I was looking over the rice fields that are in eastern Arkansas. And it was just beautiful. I got really excited and I smiled. I don't think I stopped smiling for about three days. My mission president commented on it three or four times the first night that we were there. Just how much I kept smiling, how excited I was. And um, My first companion was, he's a great guy. He, he did a lot of good things for me. But I think the most shocking experience I had in my first week, that just kind of introduced me to the South and their, their more culture and customs happened at a Kmart. My companion and I were running in to use the restroom while we were out tracking one day and uh, we came across a, a classic Southern guy that was just, he was more of kind of a an impoverished kind of neighborhood in, in Little Rock and uh, he's just a really kind guy. He looked at us and he said, oh brothers, I need your help. I need a prayer right now. And he was ringing the, the bell for the Salvation Army. It was getting pretty close to winter. so. Uh, um, we walked over to talk to him and see what he needed and he just said, I need a prayer right now. And he grabbed both of our hands and bowed his head and just started praying. I, it's normal to them to, to pray loud and in public and it was a new experience to me because prayer was always something that's really quiet and really reverent. And uh, it scared me at first because I got used to the way he prayed. Like he, he really was sincere in what he was saying and he really wanted the Lord's help. And. Uh, I think we got his address, but we never talked to him. It was just an interesting culture shock for me to get there and realize that religion is something that's a little bit louder in the South and a little bit more public, and that's an okay thing.